Hello guys, as part of the Channel Mum team, I've been asked to talk about my take on meal prepping and planning. We do kind of plan our meals to an extent. We're not like full on every ingredient we buy is for a specific meal and we don't have like really set menus and um, we just kind of try different things yeah i thought i would just share with you more the tips and little kind of ways that we do our meals i mean we're doing something right we all eat every day we eat quite nice meals so yeah i'll let you know kind of how we do it and some little tips that i've got and then you can let me know in the comments below if you think i'm doing anything wrong and if you've got any suggestions for me because i would love to be more organized especially with a new bambino on the way one thing that i am really really strict on is that we all eat the same dinner it saves time it saves money just saves my energy and stress levels we're really really lucky that both the boys are very good eaters whether we have steak ribs curry whatever the dish is that we have the boys will eat it reese is probably a little bit fussier he's got this thing where he gags if he doesn't want it and we know it's a behavior other people think we're letting him sit there and choke but we know we know it's not we know it is just a behavior but yeah if there's anything we know they won't like or if it's something really spicy then we'll put theirs aside before we add the spice but apart from that dinner times so we always have the same okay so packing your bag the night before if me and jasper are going out for the day I like to take snacks for him. I always feel really bad if we turn up to a play date and the other kids are having snacks and Jasper hasn't got anything and they end up giving Jasper some. Obviously no one would let him starve. Or if we're out and about and I have to rush to the shop quickly. So it's always good just to make sure you've got those snacks in there. I just always make sure I top them up and he's always got like one of those little fruit roll ups and maybe a packet of crisps and always his water bottle. Another thing is letting Jasper choose. So whether it's breakfast, lunch, dinner, Dinner, I don't really tend to let him choose that much, purely because, like I said, I like all of us to eat the same thing, so it's just one meal to cook. But when it comes to breakfast, I like to give him options, and when it comes to lunch as well, just because it saves a meltdown, it saves making him cereal, and then deciding that he wanted toast. Yeah, I'd rather that he just chose, and he does make good choices. It's not that he'll always choose the same thing or the unhealthy thing. He does have quite a varied diet, so yeah, that's something that I like to do. Buying frozen food. I never used to like buying frozen food. We always had a freezer stocked full, but it was more like party food food and stuff that we would buy and then just before it goes off we'd put it in the freezer and yeah it was never really very organized so the other day me and Pete completely defrosted it went through it all chucked out a load of stuff that we didn't want anymore and we've got like organized drawers now and yeah since I did the Iceland campaign with Channel Mum I have been absolutely converted you can get frozen chopped onions you can get like amazing like lamb shanks and wagyu burgers and just really really amazing frozen food you don't have to worry about having it as quickly and yeah it's just something easy if you look in your fridges and there's nothing fresh then you can just grab out some frozen veg some frozen meat frozen mashed potato they've even got that and it's delicious and you've still got just as healthy a meal and nine times out of ten there's less preparation as well something i would also say if you're into making smoothies or just in this hot weather it's really nice to freeze your fruit so much of our fruit ends up going off if we buy it fresh you know punnets of blueberries and strawberries near the end of them you just kind of think oh they're getting a bit squidgy so we've got little pots in our freezer and we just put the fresh stuff in there before it starts to go off and we'll use it for smoothies we'll put it on our cereal put it in drinks instead of ice cubes if it's a really hot day i'll just sit there and eat the frozen fruit just straight from the freezer. Another tip is to online shop. A lot of people don't like to do it because you have to pay for the delivery charge, but for me, if you plan ahead and you get it in the right time slot, you can pay like a pound for delivery, which is a lot more than you would be paying for fuel to get to your supermarket and the energy and the time that you're spent walking around the shop. You can see exactly on a list what you've got. You can see the total adding up, so you know how much you're spending and you can kind of plan your meals a little bit around them like if you don't want to completely meal prep when I put stuff in a trolley it all gets mixed up and I can't remember what I've got and then as it's going through the till I'm like oh do I need that whereas online they group it all together so you've got all the meat together all the fruit you can see all the deals if you need to quickly add something else not to mention being pregnant and having a toddler yeah walking around a supermarket it's it's just not fun <laughs> so yeah I'd rather do it from the comfort of my home okay so my next tip is meal prep I know I said I don't really do this very much, but we kind of go through phases. People go to places like Macro and he'll bulk buy like a load of meat, a load of potatoes, a load of sauce. And then we get the little paper pots with the lids and we'll batch cook a load of meals, put some in the fridge, some in the freezer. Pete can take them for his lunches. I can have them for my lunches. This is especially good where we're having a baby because the days that Pete goes back to work, I can just grab one of those out of the freezer to have for my lunch. Something as well that's really good is you can get the little disposable coffee cups. So Pete used to always get a cup of coffee on his way to work 
work which would cost like one, two, sometimes three pounds a pop. Whereas now he just makes one at home, takes it in his little disposable one, he can chuck it afterwards so he doesn't have to worry about taking, like carrying around his coffee mug. My last thing, which is not cost effective, but it's good to give you ideas for meals, and it's just something different, is to use HelloFresh. Not working with them at all, this isn't an advert. I can put a discount code below, which does give me a bit of money off on my next one. This is pretty much as close to meal planning and preparation as I get. HelloFresh is a box that they send you every Monday, so it lands on your doorstep, and it's full of all of the ingredients that you need for four meals, so four dinners. Um, we got the family box at first, which was for two adults and two children, but we had so much left over, we were just cooking it all and freezing it, so our freezer is pretty much full of HelloFresh meals now. So we've just changed the two adult one, which is still really big and has enough for like Jasper and Reese for dinners, like at the weekends and Jasper during the week. And you just get all the ingredients, the menu, instructions, whatever, and everything, and they're just really nice different meals, and you know you're getting exactly the right amount of ingredients, so there's not normally any wastage unless you cook more, like they actually give you kind of the quantities of the spices and little things of butter if that's all you need. So yeah, it's really, really handy, but it is quite expensive. So if you're looking to be kind of economical, it's probably not the best thing. So that's it, that's my take on meal planning and preparation. It's a little bit disorganized. We probably waste a lot of money. So as I said before, I'd love your tips below. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, bye.